Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys because you had the most views of all the signs last week. So, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, you start out with the Five of Cups. We have the Novice of Pentacles and the Elemental of Pentacles. Interesting. A lot of Pentacles here. Now, I can see that there's something here, Scorpio, that has left you feeling a little bit sad. Um, you're kind of looking back at the past. You're looking at things and there's a sense of melancholy. Um, I'm also seeing that you may have, you may be waiting for an offer or you might be waiting for communication, which feels more like communication to me. Um, yeah, it does feel more like communication, but there's a sense here of wanting to either communicate with somebody or wanting them to communicate with you, but to build on that, to to grow it, to to move um, from something that is very small into something that is more. Yeah. Let's see the energy of who's in your connection here. Who is, thank you. All right. Three of swords in the reverse. Four of swords in the reverse. And the judgment. Okay. So the person that's in your energy, I do feel like they're, they're healing. This is somebody who has pulled away. They are likely they have not been in communication with you. Um, whatever this is that happened between the two of you, I think that it made you feel very sad. They were very hurt. So the two of you... Are, are kind of mirroring each other a little bit in that. Um, for some, there could have been some third-party energy that was taking place here. It doesn't have to be, though. This person is going to want to co um, contact you, and they're going to want to talk. So after a period of not talking, they are going to want to talk, and I think you're receptive to that. You want to talk as well. Um, there is something here that this person may feel that they they're going to be judged in this conversation though they they want to talk but either they're passing judgment on your behavior or or they feel that you're going to be passing judgment on them so let's see the energy between the two of you <clears throat> all right we have the chariot in reverse yeah things have not been moving forward Things have kind of ground to a halt with, with whatever this is that happened. And and there's been no forward movement. Let's see what's, what's directly affecting this connection. Okay, so we have the Initiate of Swords and we have the Novice of Swords. So I'm seeing a lot of progressions here. Like things moving from one thing to the other. We have it in your energy. We have it in their energy. And now I'm seeing it here as what's affecting the connection. So there's a lot of progressions. And that's unusual to have it so in so many places. But what I am seeing is that it, it's primarily about communication. Uh, there could be... You might be checking to see if this person is willing to, to communicate with you. But I do think so. And I, I think they're going to be coming forward. They're going to be communicating honestly. I think you're moving kind of slow in this whole um, in this whole thing. You do want to have communication. You may have even thought about texting this person. But you're moving kind of slow. I feel like you're more pulled back than they are at this point. Because I feel like they're going to be coming forward pretty quickly. Um, let's see the outcome. Show me the outcome. 
Yeah, four of wands in the reverse. So this is that breakup. This is what happened here. There could be like a, a new beginning trying to come in. Because they want a new beginning. But there's a lot of focus on the, the ending right now. And a lot of that is on your side, Scorpio. A lot of it is because you're still very focused on what happened. And I think that that's what's causing you to kind of reserve. Your energy is a little bit more reserved than theirs is. So bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands in the reverse. And this is that conflict. This is the underlying energy. And it tells me that the conflict here is ending. Whatever created the conflict and caused all this hurt, it's, it's ending. I think there's a new beginning that's trying to come in here. And my suspicion is that you're the one that's holding this back. Um, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Five of Cups here for Scorpio? <clears throat> why is the Five of Cups here? All right, so we have the Six of Coins reversed. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. Now, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, which would be either a Scorpio like yourself or a um, Cancer or Pisces. But I really feel like this is your energy. Um, more likely that you would be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but what I'm seeing is that Somebody was either giving their attention to two people, which would have been those that have this third-party energy, and the other person, um, I feel like, I feel like they got cut out. Whoever was giving their energy to more than one person, and I don't think it was you. I think it was the other person because they're feeling judged. I feel like you cut them out. Even though you love them, even though you have deep emotions for them. Now, everybody, there wasn't a third party. Some of you guys, there was just a lot of breadcrumbing that was going on. Maybe you were giving a lot to the, the uh, relationship and the other person wasn't, so it was uneven. But regardless of the situation, I feel like you cut this person out. And I do feel like you... You have a lot of love for this person. You, you're you still kind of keeping an eye on them. But at the same time, you, you kind of know what it is you want here and what you don't want. I also feel like you are willing to listen to what they have to say. You are desiring communication from what I can see. Okay, so we have the three of coins. And again, we have the page of swords. So double double energy there. Yeah, definitely kind of keeping an eye on this person. And I feel like uh, you want to move things forward, but you want to do it in a very slow manner. You're not willing to jump back into things. I feel like uh, you will tell this person that. But I also feel like you are willing to build a foundation with this person because you do have genuine emotions for them. But you're not going to be, you're not going to go fast. You're going to kind of hold back. After everything that's happened, you're going to kind of hold back. And I do feel like a lot of it's going to depend on what they have to say. All right, we have the star and we have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, you're hoping for the communication to bring about a new beginning, but a stable new beginning. You don't want just, you know, to jump into something. So this is trying to come in, this Four of Wands, but I'm not sure it'll come in immediately. I think you're going to you're gonna be the one to slow it down. You do feel like a coming together and having a new beginning would be a wish fulfillment, though. So let's see the, what's on their side. Let me see. But why is the Three of Swords in the reverse? <clears throat> All right, we have the King of Wands reversed, and we have the Six of Wands reversed. 
this person is is healing um they if there was a third party that has ended um and they're realizing that uh they're realizing that this connection was not successful because of poorly done actions on their behalf it looks like I, I can also tell you that it they have a feeling that no matter what they do, it's not going to be successful. And so they're kind of stuck in this energy of not doing anything. It's like, uh, it, it's not like they've given up. They haven't given up, but they, they feel like whatever they do is, at this point is not going to be successful. All right, so we have the four of coins and we have the five of cups or five of coins reversed. So what they want to talk to you about is letting go of the past, releasing the past. They are going to come forward and I do feel like they're going to, when they do decide to come forward, it's going to be quick. They're really literally going to move from no action at all to just rushing right in. And it's like um, whatever's holding them back, they just let go of it. And I think what's letting them, what's holding them back is this fear of failure. Fear that you're, you're not going to hear them. You're not going to listen to them. They really do want a reconciliation here though. So, and I can see it's been a minute since the two of you have communicated but when they let go, they're going to move forward quickly. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. And again, we have the Five of Wands. Now, that's your underlying energy. They want to resolve this conflict and they want to bring forward an offer of love. So they are coming in and they're going to come in quick. It's it's like, some, like a dam of water. Like it's... There's uh, something holding the water back, holding it back, holding it back. But when once that's removed, that water comes rushing out. And that's what this person is going to do. Um, let's see why the chariot is here. All right. So we have the eight of swords. And we have the knight of wands reversed. Yeah, they're really holding back. So currently... This person is taking no action. They're not speaking. They're not, um, they're not really coming forward at all. And you're kind of up in your head about this because you do have feelings. You want to talk to them. I think that you, you're willing to hear what they have to say, although you're putting out this energy, Scorpio, that you will cut them out of your life if if what they say is not pleasing so you kind of have this icy exterior that they're picking up on they're very afraid of failure here they're afraid to approach you basically and that's why things are not moving forward right now they're picking up that you you kind of are a little cold towards them right now so, and I'm not saying you don't have a right to be. I'm just saying that they're picking up on that. But they really do want to come forward and they do want to talk. And when they do, it's going to be fast. Let's see uh, what's affecting the connection. It's almost like I feel that you almost know that this is going to happen. It's like you feel it's going to happen. You know it. And you are going to be cooperative with it. All right. So we have the two of coins. We have again the page of pentacles. And justice. Strong Libra energy here. All right. So. Somebody's been weighing up the pros and cons here. Um, I think you're just looking at this. Both of you are feeling very unbalanced, but you're looking at this and you're saying, um, I think you're saying that, that there's not a balanced connection here. I'm seeing it twice in your energy. You feel that this connection has not been balanced and there's been no cooperation. So you're going to bring in 
you're going to bring in that one pentacle or accept the one pentacle. It's kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for that pentacle. You're looking for that olive branch, really. I don't feel like you're bringing it in. I think you're looking for it. Because you want cooperation. You'll give cooperation if it's given to you. So if this person does extend themselves, then you're going to be you're going to be cooperative. You're going to you're going to move things along but very slowly. Because you do want things to balance out. On their side, I feel that they have weighed up the pros and cons. They've kind of tried to balance this out. They are going to bring balance into the connection and they want to do the right thing. And I'm I'm seeing definitely that they they feel the right thing is to approach you, is to come forward with truth and honesty. They're hoping that you will release whatever that you've been holding on to and that there can be a reconciliation. They're also holding themselves back though. And I think that they're gonna let that go as well. Let's look at your outcome. Okay, so in the outcome we have the Page of Cups reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed, and the Nine of Pentacles. So in your outcome, we're seeing that there is this coming together that's trying to take place. It has not come together um, at this time. It's it's like there's a lapse. There's there's waiting. And what is it waiting for? Well, it's waiting for the Knight of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked up a little bit of a cold. It's waiting for the communication. And that's what your person is bringing in. That's what's going to affect the connection. So once this person lets go and brings in this honest communication, comes rushing in with the communication, then everything's going to turn, it's going to turn around. So it's just a standstill right now. You want, your greatest wish is to have a stable new beginning. You're looking to see, is this person going to extend this olive branch? They want this reconciliation. They want to end the conflict and they want to offer love. But they've got to let go of something here in order to come forward. They've got to be able to come forward. And fear is what's holding them back. Once they do, it's going to be a celebration. It's going to be a coming together. This could actually lead to a marriage or a living together situation. You'll accept that cup of love at that point. But right now, you're holding back. And they, are, they will be ready They'll want to go into this connection. But right now, they're, they're just coming across as being single. And by themselves. So they're working on themselves. But they have to release that fear. And the fear is involved with feeling that you, have, you will cut them off. That you will cut them off and they, they'll fail at this attempt. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is going to go well. Um, underlying energy is happiness and complete uh, contentment here. It's only a matter of time unless this person chooses not to bring the communication forward. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and pull an Oracle card and see what happens. With that, if there's a final message for you. All right. So you have Futura. She who divines. Okay. It uh, talks of future choice and judgment. Now, the person does feel like they're being judged as well. So 
I'm going to read this directly from the book. All right, it says, Futura, she who divines holds La Mort, the death card in Tarot. So she's holding, um, she's holding the death card. I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go. All right. Um, and the seven of hearts, which signifies unconditional love. One seems dire while the other seems like a fantasy, but they are simply messages for us to interpret. Like the die and key on her necklace, all are tools. Even the opal can be a stone of sorrow if chosen for the wrong reason. Futura also wears an icon of the Virgin Mary, representing the sorrows and the joys of women. Futura will help you see the opportunities that await you. This card points out that you have a choice to make. A decision is waiting to be made, but you must first review all the possibilities. Make sure you are investigating the many varied paths that lie ahead. This could be an indication to ask someone else to help you delineate the choices before you. This card of looking into the future is a promise of hope as long as you don't let the current issues hold you back. In order to move forward, you can't drag the past with you. Take time to peer into your window to see the future. Where will your feet take you next? Will your heart and head follow? So some questions you can ask yourself, Scorpio. What do I need to know to make a decision? And what has brought me to this point? And have I considered all factors and options? You guys go ahead and put that in the comments and beneath if you'd like. I am giving away a free tarot reading at the end of this month. And if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and be sure you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and also um, comment. So I hope this has been helpful and I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Until I see you in your regular weekly readings, namaste.